Hey everybody, Mike Ippoletti here with Job Progress, and today I want to talk about communication. So communication is extremely important, and whether we're talking about communicating with our homeowners, with the business owner, communicating with our subcontractors, our suppliers, our vendors, or even communicating internally, Job Progress has a solution and a way to help. So it all starts, in my opinion, with getting that customer's email address because in Job Progress, your entire email history and correspondence can actually be located directly inside of the job. So as you're communicating back and forth with whether it be an adjuster, whether it be a homeowner, it doesn't make a difference because that correspondence is stored all in one area. As you see, I have no emails here, but if I did, every single email that was sent back and forth that I received or my sales guy, my office manager, whoever it may be, that entire correspondence is stored directly at the job level. And sometimes we don't want to have to manually communicate. So that's why we do things such as workflow automation. Take advantage of these tools so that when I drag and drop and move my job into a new stage, that can automatically trigger out an email to whoever I'd like, or even a task. And you'll see here that I have a nice little work scheduled email. If I wanted to review it, I could. I have it automatically linked to the customer webpage. It just says hello to them. Nice and easy, nice and simple. It makes the customer feel like they're being kept in the loop. You may not always want to communicate via email though. And that's when the texting is going to come into play. So right at the job level, you could go ahead and locate their phone number, hit send text. And just like that, you could say, hello, we are on our way. Maybe you want to add an attachment, a file. Maybe you want to throw ahead and throw the proposal in there. You have the ability to do so. Perhaps you're texting this directly to your subcontractor or you're texting this over to your rep at your material supplier, vendor house, whatever that may be. You can control the flow of information from one location. And that probably is one of the most important aspects of job progress, in my opinion, is the oh, not a valid phone number because it notices that it's a 555. So let's do 908-675-5543. This might be someone's real number. We're going to find out and let them know that we are on the way. Regardless, if that's the phone number that you had on file, you'd be able to go ahead and save that. That correspondence is going to store inside of the job for you. And now everybody is up to date on all of the communication. But if we're taking it a step further, maybe you want to communicate internally with your team members. So that's when you would use messages inside of job progress. And your messages is going to be for anybody that's using job progress, that's on your team. Maybe it's an estimator, maybe it's the office staff, who knows. The message is that you could actually message right through the system. So that's the message we're going with today. We're going to message through the system directly to Team Dylan. Hey, this is the message. Put a little exclamation point at the end so they know I'm being excited in my correspondence. I can send a copy as an email if I want to, and now I know they're going to get notified in multiple locations. So again, whether I want to message just one individual or an entire team, I've got the ability to do so right through job progress. And inside this message, he's going to have that pop up immediately on his mobile device. He's going to get that also as an email. And now that correspondence is going to be able to flow back and forth with everybody attached to this job, all at the click of a single button. So when it comes to communicating in job progress, we're also big fans of using tasks and follow-up reminders. The task automation is a great tool, it really is. As I'm going through my workflow, maybe I want this to automatically notify my accounting department that they're ready to go ahead and invoice the job. Again, I could also have this send out an email with my invoice to the customer. So tasks and emails can also be triggered at the same time when it comes to automation. Maybe that email is going to my customer and then I have a task for the accounting department, for my sales rep to pay my subcontractor and complete the commissions. I could lock the job from moving forward if I don't want them to move forward until this task is complete. And then I could also have this remind them how often that I like. Maybe I want them to get reminded every hour until they complete this task. I can go ahead and do so inside of job progress. Once I'm ready, I can hit that send button. That's gonna go ahead and create my task. You'll see that this one is high priority. And now if I refresh my screen here, these tasks are live and up to date directly inside of the job. If you wanted to see all of your emails that are coming in and going out, 
you can click the little envelope icon in the top right corner and now this is going to show you all of your incoming emails in your inbox or what's been sent by hitting your sent emails over here on the left. If you're the owner admin, you could actually advance search and switch between different users. So all of your team members, all of your employees, you could also see their correspondence that they have going on as well. And that's the benefit, right? You don't have to play the guessing game. You don't have to wonder, is it he said, she said, when it comes to communication with the homeowner or the business owner, you could go immediately and directly into that job, open up the text history, open up the email history, your message threads, whatever it is that you need to access, and you can find that information. So communication and job progress, it's a very big tool that we like to take advantage of. We always like to have our contractors start using the workflow automation, using the messaging, even the texting if that's something that they wanna use. If you have any questions on any of this info that we just went over, feel free to give us a call. 844-562-7764 at extension number two. Or send us an email, support at jobprogress.com. Have a great day.